you know, people often ask me how expensive is it to travel to Singapore because they've heard that Singapore is really expensive. And I'm just wrapping up five days here in Singapore. I'm gonna tell you exactly how much I spent so you can find out if it's really that expensive. All right, let's go. My first expense after landing in Singapore's Changi Airport was to take a taxi to my hotel. I took a taxi from the airport's official taxi rank and it cost 30 Singaporean dollars to get to my hotel, the JW Marriott South Beach Hotel, where I checked in pretty late, about 9.30 at night, so I just went straight to sleep. My first activity on my first day in Singapore was to go visit the classic Merlion statue. Yes, the unofficial mascot of Singapore. This was free, it doesn't cost anything to see a statue. Lunchtime, I headed over to the Lao Pa Sat Hawker Center. I had some chicken rice and some sugar cane juice. This cost me eight Singaporean dollars. Then I walked over to Chinatown and had a second lunch because honestly the portions at these hawker centers aren't that big and I wanted to compare my first chicken rice to the most famous chicken rice in all of Singapore, the Tian Tian chicken rice at the Maxwell Road Hawker Center. I got that and the lime juice, $7.50. By the way, I'm gonna round all the prices up to the nearest 50 cents because who's counting pennies anyway? A little later to get a dessert, I went over to the Chinatown Hawker Center and got an iced sundal, $2.50. By the way, if you're wondering what Singaporean dollars are converted to US dollars, one Singaporean dollar is worth about $1.30 US. I'll do the whole conversion at the end. All right, for dinner, I ate at another Hawker Center in Chinatown, the People's Market. I had a pork rice and a lemon iced tea, $7.00. The next morning, this is a much more expensive day, I went to the Singapore Zoo. Uh, and so I had to buy the tickets ahead of time online to go to the Singapore Zoo. I also added on the River Wonders Park. Together, those two parks, $78. The zoo's kind of hard to get to by public transportation or it just takes a long time. Uh, and so I wanted to get there quicker. So I took a taxi to the zoo, 25 Singaporean dollars. At the zoo, I had lunch. I had chicken biryani lunch at their main restaurant inside the zoo with an iced tea for $20. Then a little later in the day, it was hot. I wanted a dessert again. I had a shave ice at one of the vendors outside the zoo's main gate, $5 for the shave ice. Then I was thirsty, so I got an iced tea from the zoo's mini mart. The canned iced tea was $3. I picked up a little souvenir to bring back home to our daughter. $32 for this panda that's also going to join the Yellow Productions crew. Now, to get back from the zoo to my hotel, uh, it had started to rain, and so there were no taxis available. There were no grabs available. I had to take one of the limousine taxis uh, that was about twice the price. It cost me $50 to get back to the hotel. So I decided to save some money and just uh, have dinner at the hotel's lounge because um, I got that for free and so dinner didn't cost me nothing. All right, the next day I went to Sentosa Island. Uh, the taxi to Sentosa Island cost me $15. Then for lunch I ate dim sum at the Resorts World Casino, $18. I had shave ice at the Food Republic food hall at the Vivo City shopping mall, $3.50 for the mango shave ice. Then I went to the airport. Chris, why are you going back to the airport? Because I wanted to see the Jewel Shopping Center. $25 to take a grab to the Jewel at Changi Airport. Uh, I had dinner in the food court in the basement of the Jewel uh, Indonesian food with some oolong tea, $20. And then for dessert, I had some Cow Cow Milk Ice Cream Sundae. This is a chain from Tokyo. My ice cream sundae with a slice of cheesecake on it, $10. Ouch. Then to get back to the hotel, I also took a taxi, $30. Uh, it is now day number three, and for lunch, I went to the Albert Center Hawker Center near the Bugis MRT, where I had some fried Hawken Mee shrimp noodles and some lime juice. That was $7, and it was hot, and so I wanted some cold dessert, so I got another iced sundal for $2.50 in Kampong Glom, also known as Little Arabia. Uh, that ice sundal was pretty small, and it was really hot that day. So I got another ice cream, in particular a gelato from Birds of Paradise, the lychee raspberry flavor, $5.50 for this small cup of gelato. Then I stopped into 7-Eleven to get a green tea. This 
much cheaper than at the zoo was one dollar bargain. I then walked over to Little India and had a mid afternoon snack at the Tekka Center, which is Little India's Hawker Center. I had a honey prata and a ice honey ginger lemon drink, five dollars in total. Then it was time to take the MRT for the first time, which is Singapore's subway. I took that over to Gardens by the Bay. To ride it, I had to get the MRT card first, $5 for the tap-on, tap-off card. And the actual trip to Gardens by the Bay was $1. That's right, $1 to ride the MRT. It's like the best bargain in town. <laughs> All right, then Gardens by the Bay, I went into the cloud and flower domes, not as cheap as the MRT ride. The combo ticket to go into those two domes, $53. Then for dinner, I ate at the Jurassic Food Hall at Gardens by the Bay. I had Hawker Chan, which is a famous Michelin-starred hawker stall, and an iced tea to drink, $23 Singaporean dollars. And to cap off the evening, I watched the nighttime show in front of the Marina Bay Sands. That, luckily, was free. Now on to my final full day in Singapore, I took the MRT for $1 to the Singapore National Museum, where I learned all about the history of Singapore for $15. Then I took a bus for $1 down to Orchard Road, where I stopped into Ion Orchard on the basement level for food hall called Food Opera, where I had some prawn noodles, some carrot cake, that's what this reddish black soy sauce dish is called, and a honey lemon drink for $16. Then along Orchard Road, I got a bargain ice cream sandwich for $1.50. In Takashimaya Shopping Center, I had a coconut shake, large size, for $6. I took the bus back to the hotel for one Singaporean dollar, and then, just to make it easy, I had dinner at the hotel lounge again, so that didn't cost me anything. And then my final day, to head back to the airport, 30 more Singaporean dollars. Total that all up, and what do we get? 564 Singaporean dollars. Convert that to US dollars, what do we get? 424 US dollars for five days of fun and awesome eating in Singapore. Note, this does not include my hotel cost, and this does not include my flights. This is just how much I spent on kind of the things to like exist and have a good time in the day in Singapore. You'll note I did not eat at any fancy or really expensive restaurants. I also did not go out to any bars and have any alcoholic drinks in the evening. Those are things that can be quite expensive in Singapore. So now let me talk about the hotel for just a moment to give you an idea of hotel prices. Singapore hotel prices, they can really range. You know, there are hostels and capsule hotels that you can get for as cheap as $35 a night in Singapore. Or you can stay at the JW Marriott South Beach when the cash rate while I was staying here was 600 Singaporean dollars a night. Uh, I booked it with Marriott points, a lot of Marriott points, and so I didn't pay anything to stay here. That was part of why I enjoyed staying at this hotel. Uh, I also flew to Singapore on United Airlines using my United Miles, so my flight didn't cost me anything. And so in that case, factor those things in, but they're very highly variable. And so, um, you know, if you want a fancy hotel, you're gonna spend a lot of money. You're gonna spend maybe more money on one night in the hotel than you will on the five days of adventure in the city if you're staying in one of Singapore's luxury hotels. But as you can see, Singapore can be quite an inexpensive destination. You just have to do the things that are cheap as opposed to the things that are expensive. And I, I didn't like limit myself, you know, I still visited kind of expensive gardens by the bay, kind of expensive zoo, and I took some kind of slightly expensive taxis. I mean, expensive compared to the $1 MRT and bus ride. All in all, I don't think that expensive. Well, fellow explorers, if you enjoyed this video, you might enjoy checking out some more videos from my Singapore series. You'll find links on the screen or in the description below. And as usual, I won't say goodbye because I'll see you in the next video.